All right, here we are, big dog. We had 25 wins, six <clears throat> losses in the ACC, 15 and five. Mm -hmm. You know, really good reg regular season, great regular season. Yeah. And, you know, before, you know, the year began, you know, we talked about, you know, having the type of season that we had to this point. And, mm. you know, we knew we had a really good group. We knew that obviously you were a big part of that. And, and you know, we still have, you know, some things, you know, our work is not done. You know, mm. we have this championship time here. We are in March and, you know, that's when we play our best ball. Mm. But one of the things we talked about, a few of the things we talked about, was some of the individual, you know, uh, uh, goals and things that you know you set for yourself, and and uh, one of them you talked about was the winning, you know, rookie of the year. Mm -hmm. You know, so congrats on that. Appreciate it. You know, uh, for the season, uh, 17 points, you know, eight rebounds. Mm -hmm. um, talked about being the best big in, in the conference, and uh, you know, you you've earned that. You know, first team, all ACC. All rookie team, um, obviously. So, congratulations on that, big dog. Appreciate it. And you know, here we are. You know, just finished our last game in Cameron, and every Duke player, you know, wants to go out on top, but definitely go out your last home game in Cameron. You know, versus our rival. Mm -hmm. And you know, you were terrific in this game. You know, you 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 finished with uh, 25 points, 10 rebounds. You know, you were a monster in the paint. Um, nine for 11 from the free throw line. You know, over the last three games, you know, you've just, just been a load to try to stop, you know, drawing 23 uh, uh, fouls and, you know, huge difference maker. So again, playing big time basketball and we're gonna go over a little bit, a uh, few of the plays throughout the, throughout the game. What was your kind of mindset going into this game? Just, just trying to <clears throat> put on a show and get the win. And just having um, Antonio uh, Antonio Sellers there, um, mm -hmm. just, was just I felt like he just uplifted our team for real, and he brought the energy to us for real. And then we just played and played hard. We were inspired, you mm -hmm. know, you know, make a wish. You know, we wanted to play our hearts out for him, and you guys did that. And it started really with you know the defense. You know, we've always talked about you know playing defense. You know, here J. Rob gets to steal and you were really, really running the floor. Mm -hmm. You know, so anytime, you know, you run the floor, you attack, great defensive uh, uh, stance right here, protecting the rim. And again, you're running hard, you know, Trey's finding you. Um, it puts so much pressure on the defense. And, you know, when you're lathered up and, and you get those easy plays, you know, it not only gets you going, but it gets us going. Yeah. And this was a tough stretch, you know. Uh, they were playing some really good ball, and you know, you, you want to get fouled right here. You know, what's kind of was your mindset in terms of like the way you ran and where you attacked? Yeah, just <clears throat> just personally, I feel like having J. Rob out there with his defense presence and his shot blocking ability, I feel like I could um, just beat my uh, man down quicker. Yeah, quicker down the floor. Yeah, you were really running, running the floor hard. And here you are up top, you know, one of the great parts about your game, man, is your versatility, you know, mm -hmm. being able to face the basket and, you know, whenever you're up top right here, you know, with your touch, your playmaking ability, that's a big time shot, you mm -hmm. know, being able to take your man, you know, off the bounce, but not charge, you mm -hmm. know, see that the defender is there, elevate and shoot a floater. You know, I don't, I don't know if any other big man in the country can do that. Here we are, you know, down low, you know, mouse in the house. And, you know, I think you're probably the only player in the country that sees a, a triple, uh, a double and a triple team, you know, almost every game, mm -hmm. you know. So you keeping your composure, you know, knowing that the defense is going to collapse on you and going to the line and making them pay is, is huge. Great defensive stop right here. You know, your on ball uh, defense and ball screen defense was, was really good. J-Rob coming up with a big time block like you talked about and here you are running again and Trey finding you. You know, that's that's just a big time Duke basketball right there. Crowd's going crazy, boom. When did it really click to you, you know, to, 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 to run the way you've been doing the last few games? You've done all season, mm -hmm. but really for the last three games, you've really been motoring down the, down, down the floor. When the double team started coming, um, just just trying to find ways to score, mm -hmm. especially in easier ways to score. Just so just beating my man down the floor, um, I felt like I just had a just a better opportunity to score, especially just beating him down and 
not getting not getting them to set up pretty uh, quickly. Right, right. And when you have a you know a guard like Trey that you know that will find you, mm -hmm. you know, beating everyone down the floor, then getting that one on one action in the post, you know, definitely uh, that's. Yeah. two points you know in the books mm -hmm. well, for sure you know this year you know kind of working out every day has been a pleasure you mm -hmm. know to, to to work with you and the rest of the guys but uh it, it's pretty cool just to see your your game you know basically go to just diff different levels mm -hmm. and you know just for me you know uh, i appreciate all the hard work you know even if it was times when you didn't, didn't want to do it mm -hmm. you know you still yeah. Uh, went out there and, and gave it 110, you know, and that's pretty that's pretty mature of you to realize that the importance of practice yeah. Is that something that? You know when did that click because sometimes yeah. it takes a while for young guys to understand the importance of practice uh, right before uh, We had our um, camp, uh, Countdown mm -hmm. so just like we just started practicing um, for real and started putting players in and stuff like that so just probably just like the importance and like every detail matters pretty much mm -hmm. so yeah, just like, it's just more um, in-depth and yeah. more detail. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know, anytime, you know, we, we work on this all the time, mm -hmm. you know, it's, as a coach, it's always cool to see when you when you work on something, then you guys go right out there and mm -hmm. execute it. You yeah. know, Drake J-Rob, you know, was terrific, catching, facing, and uh, it's what we talked about. Anytime you have your man, you know, one-on-one uh, -on -one to post, especially from the top, you know, that's gonna be two points or a foul. Mm -hmm. And that's another foul, one of the eight fouls drawn. Again, the high low. And it's demoralizing. You know, you get those guys on the bench. They can't stop you. It takes them out of their rhythm. I mean, that's a big time play. And it was during a it was during a time where, you know, as we go back, you look at the score, yeah. you know, we were kind of, you know, struggling, you know, to, to, to find some offense. And I remember you on the bench coming in, you know, you had that look in your eye like, look, this is this is the time to take over. And you made about two or three plays in a row where you just, you know, did your thing, man. Putting the ball on the floor, sense of urgency, knowing you missed it, finally a shot and finishing. That's that's a huge bucket. Right here, you know, being being able to catch, you know, it was a good shot, you know, like we talked about you shooting, you know, don't you don't take that many, but you know, you thirty-eight percent from the three. Yeah. So it's a good shot, it's right there, but you stay stay with it. And again, two points, huge plays, hard rim runs. And that was that, that span where three, four possessions in a row, you know, you just took it over. Huge and one. You know, love to see the emotion, you know, from you, J-Rob, everybody. It really, really kind of really broke their spirit. You can look at, look at their faces mm -hmm. and it was demoralized. Great job. Like I said, every time you catch it, man, you know, it's uh, three people around you. Like, just throughout the year, how do you kind of keep your composure when you are facing that every night? At first, it was just a little frustrating, especially just because I haven't seen it mm -hmm. in, in the beginning. But just, just like preparing and practice, uh, we just run through it every day, pretty much. Just having guys help help off, off uh off the opposite side of the ball. Yeah. So just having that in practice mm -hmm. is preparing me for the games. Yeah, that's great, man. You know, just trust your work, right? <clears throat> for you sure. Know, you trust in your work. You're doing all the things we work on every day. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just beautiful basketball, man. Great high low. And anytime, you know, one on one to post, they they have to foul you. You know, it's it's not it's not easy being a big guy down there. Yeah. But one thing you've done, you know, in the ACC, you know, you, you went from, you know, 50s to 60s and you finish out the regular season in the ACC 70 cent from the free throw line. Mm -hmm. So now they can no longer foul you. So it's pick your poison, man. You know, either yeah. go one on one and get scored on mm -hmm. or foul you. You hit free throws and you get triple team. Sometimes you're still scored or you throw it back out for a teammate. But, mm -hmm. you know, this is a great job this year. So. UNC versus Duke in camera, man. How did it feel to be out there? Just on the real, just with the rivalry and just watching it as a kid. It's just surreal being out there and being able to play on playing that type of type of game for real. Yeah, something that, you know, as a as a as a high schooler, mm -hmm. you know, when you're watching recruiting videos and we are showing the film and and uh, you, you kinda hear what it's like, you yeah. know, you know, as as a as a recruit, but now when you're out there, 
is obviously a big difference, you know. Yeah, for sure. It was terrific, man. I, I wish I would have had 25 and uh, <laughs> you know 10 my, my my last year versus versus Carolina. Great job, man. You Appreciate know, it. the way you guys played, the energy, you know, that was out there, you know, it, it was terrific. You know, anything that you guys talked about as a group, mm -hmm. you know, going into that game. Like I said, with Antonio being there, and then. Like, uh, as us as players, like right before we went out, we just said that we just had to get this win because mm -hmm. especially for the teams, it was their last game yeah. too. So you just had to come out with a win. It's always good to come out with a win and with the sweep for the year. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. regular season sweep, you know, versus your rival, that, that's pretty good, man. When you're in high school mm -hmm. and you and we're recruiting you, we're talking about what we kind of envision for you. Mm -hmm. And when you hear like, look, you could be the best big in the country and you're here, when did it really like register that yo yo I I can be that I am that like I mm. anything that I, I really want to do offensively I can do it like when did you kind of know that you could play the way you play? Probably after New York, for real. Yeah. After the New York uh, tournament that, that we had, dominating those two games, I felt like yeah, no one could really just stop me one on one. When you're a, a high school, when you're yeah. a senior. Mm -hmm. It's like sometimes you have like I don't want to say doubt, but yeah. you haven't done it. Yeah, you haven't. So done it, once so. you like, okay, I am that fast or that mm -hmm. quick or that strong, or I can you know dominate and mm -hmm. you know score against anyone. It was fun watching you do that, and it's almost like the, the light bulb went off. You know, it's confident. The con exactly, the confidence that confidence, yeah, for, yeah, for sure. sure. What would you say your your favorite game was this year to kind of go out and do your thing? Um, I think I know where it is. Probably the Michigan State yeah. game. Uh, <laughs> just because, just like with them recruiting me, um, and then just, just dominating at their place mm -hmm. and getting a win on the road, especially against, I think they were a top 10 team at the time, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just yeah. remember that. You know, and they recruit you, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and it's, they have a, a Hall of Fame coach, yeah. you know. So it's it's like a sign of respect. Respect, You know, yeah. I want to play my best, you know, because your, your, your best was needed. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you kind of had everything in your bag on display. You, you yeah. hit them with everything that game, you yeah. know, and that's it. That's, that's fun to watch, man. Mm -hmm. And we got the, got the dub, you know, so that carries on, man. We're going to need more of those going to tournament play, man. So... Work is still, you know, left to be done. For you sure. know, now we move on to the tournament. That's right. But uh, great job in the regular season, man. Proud of you, man. Appreciate it. Rookie of the year. Great job.